Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Dan, who just brought a Christmas message called This Changes Everything. Welcome, Thank Dan. You. Yeah, and you're right, Jesus does change everything. He sure does. And I love how you talked about how Jesus just turns everything um, not only upside down, but back the right mm -hmm. way by coming. Um, you talked about how unexpected uh, Jesus was just in the way Mary was pregnant and mm -hmm. Joseph and all the things. Um, we did have a couple, we had a question come in. Okay. Um, one of the questions was, so you told the story about being on the airline and right. pinning up your bag, which I love because we can all relate to sure. those moments. Um, and the man who sort of kind of trumped you and took the space. Uh, the question was, do you think that that man uh, could have been an angel? Well, uh, I'm not going to say absolutely yes or no, either one. Um, scripture doesn't teach us a lot about angels specifically. There's a lot of uh, anecdotal data in there, so to speak, but not a lot of uh, teaching regarding angels. So is it conceivable it could have been an angel trying to teach me something? I, I suppose so. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I were a betting man, I would say probably not because he was a, a pretty mean guy. <laughs> it wasn't like he was trying to teach me something. He, he was angry. Mm -hmm. um, that just doesn't seem real angelic to me. Well, so, yeah, interesting to think about. That's my take. That's yeah. for sure. Um, the other question I wanted to ask is you talked a lot about how um, Jesus came not just to um, for us to overcome death mm -hmm. and to receive eternal life, but for our lives right here, right now. Um, and you talked about the passage uh, where it says that he comes to give us abundant life. And I think you, you hear that and you think, what does abundant life mean? Does it mean that like I'm going to have what I want and I'm not going to run out of money and I'm going to have <laughs> resources and houses? But what is Jesus talking about? when you say like, oh, Jesus came to give me, give me this abundant life? It's always struck me as um, odd, curious, that when we human beings uh, talk about abundant or mm -hmm. eternal life, we want to associate temporal things mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Things like money mm -hmm. or good health or being free from worry or, you know, these things that are really only going to be a part of this existence, mm. we get it in our heads that th those are eternal or they somehow constitute eternal life. Um, I don't think so. I think the kind of life that Jesus is referring to when he promises abundant life is first and foremost, a life that is rooted in a relationship with him, mm -hmm. the source of life that uh, enables us to um, experience uh, life and appreciate the things that are going to last. Love, mm. joy, mm. peace, patience, you know, uh, the gifts of the Spirit, uh, the importance of healthy, God-honoring relationships, uh, a heart that is pure and wants to worship God and wants to know God. I think these are the things that Jesus wants to impart to us. Our society just doesn't attach a lot of value to yeah. those. So we naturally think, oh, well, abundance is stuff. But I, I don't think that's what Jesus is about there. I think he's about calling us to a higher plane of living that if we will give a chance, if we will explore, we will come to see far exceeds anything that this world has to offer. Yeah, that's good. Cause I, I do think we, we associate it with that. And uh, in the message you talked about um, just how Jesus coming as we approach Christmas Eve or approach Christmas this week, that um, there, were, there were quite a few things that you listed off that he came for, yeah. uh, for us to know him and mm -hmm. to have purpose and meaning um, and to draw into this relationship. And then that's where the 
abundance, abundance is found. Abundance is found. Yeah, so this is a, it's a good message to think about as we approach Christmas Eve, like Thank just you. the powerful impact of Jesus coming on our lives. Amen. Yeah. So thank you for the message today. Thank sure. you for joining us here for Postscript. We won't have Postscript next week for Christmas Eve, but we'll be back here December 31st for Duffy Robbins. Hope you'll join us back then. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.